Hey guys, how's it going? So today we are talking vagabonding. But before we do anything, before we get started, we're gonna go to the gym. Anyway, at the end of the year, I had the goal of vagabonding. So vagabonding is essentially traveling from a single backpack. Now we're doing it a little differently. We're doing it from a car. And this is the car that it's all happening from. So it's a Jeep. Uh, we're gonna be sleeping in the back here. You can kind of see the bed in the background there. So that's the car that we're going to be staying in. Okay, now, the one thing that's the problem with vagabonding and that we're still trying to work out is how do we make money? Now, money is going to be very important during vagabonding and generally what you do is you work wherever you are. So if you're overseas, you work overseas and sort of experience the culture. So then you're earning money and you're also part of the community as well. Here's the thing though, we don't have any way of making money. So in the last few months, I've been transitioning Blink, the real estate company, online just to help that transition between making real estate videos and selling jewelry. Okay, so just a bit of context. It's my sister's birthday, so just drove up in the mountains. I'm just staying here for a few hours and then going back to Sydney. Remember this that we put in the egg yesterday? Turns out my, my dad had a oxidizer, so it was something that worked a lot better than the egg um, and it made it look so much more professional. Uh, so if you can see it here. Yes, so it's looking a lot more professional. So I went ahead and I bought it, the oxidizing solution, um, because at least I know it works now. Um, so I'm not going out to buy something I don't know works. And obviously, I don't want to do the eggs forever. So we should be expecting a batch coming soon of new products. So uh, I'm going to be making sure I go through them by hand and damaging them by hand. And now I can also oxidize them as well before they go out. Goodbye. Are you not gonna give me a hug? Bye, Pix. Okay, heading back to Sydney. It is now 4 06. And then back to editing, back to making content, back to um, just everything normal. So I haven't had much of a chance to actually talk about vagabonding today and it's just been a hectic day, you know, been going to the mountains, your sister's birthday and everything, hadn't had a chance to sit down. So I'm going to do that now. And you know, like I said before, the thing about vagabonding is you can't just, you know, stay nights at hotels, Airbnbs, go out to eat for dinner because eventually it starts to cut into your savings. 
So, you know, you can you can you go out, you can do that, but it's not sustainable because your your savings will slowly dip and dip and dip until you've just got nothing left. Now, what's different about vagabonding, and it, it's why I like it so much, is because it is sustainable. You know, you, you go out every day and you find ways to make money. So, like I said, you embrace the culture. You you, you bring on or you take on challenges and you take on work that is part of the culture and that's how you do vagabonding normally and then you make money through that you live in one area for a long time and then you move on to the next one and and then you do that constantly and then like that you can suddenly travel constantly while making money now it's not going to work like that I think for us unfortunately for the first uh, at least while we're in Australia because the thing is you know it's so hard to get work here in Australia that it's not even going to be feasible to even to even do that just pick up a job somewhere now that's not to say that we're not going to try to do it we are a hundred percent going in to make this vag vagabonding thing work my ultimate goal you know is to be able to travel sustainably to constantly travel and you can't do that by you know spending your money making money and then spending it so that's why I really want this to work and we're really trying to make this work now the alternative that and this is probably the approach that I would want to take and that I'm looking at taking at the moment is making money online so obviously there's so much opportunity online to make money um, and if you can do that then it's actually possible it's possible to make money and then not stay at Airbnbs but have enough to get by so it doesn't have to be a lot of money you don't need to be an internet millionaire but you do need to make enough to just get by and that is a hundred percent possible now of course there's there's a lot of concerns about you know how we're going to eat how are we going to clean up our food? Something as simple as that is so hard to 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 to, to just to make something. It's so hard to do that when when you have a house. It's so easy to do that. Or if you had an Airbnb, it's so easy to do that. So the simple things become hard. But that's part of the challenge of vagabonding. It's not an easy thing, and it is a hard thing to do, and it is a skill in of itself. But but mastering it means you can travel sustainably. And to all the three people that watch my videos, see you tomorrow. That's it.